Hey guys, and welcome to Cryplay's Rakuen. This is a game made by Laura Shigihara. You might know her from, if you know the game Plants vs. Zombies, she was the main vocalist for the song There's a Zombie on Your Lawn. You know that one. She's also close friends with Ken Gao, the guy behind To the Moon, A Bird Story, among other things. And, uh, you know, this is a charming looking game, and I kind of want to get charmed on today, so maybe you do too. Let's do that. Who's there? Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Heh, <laughs> it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Heh. <laughs> promise you won't tell me when I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Later. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promise. I'm not evil. Yami? Where'd you go? Arrow keys. Perfect, my favorite. Phone. I don't know any numbers. IV bag. An IV bag filled with saline solution. Okay. Patient number 237. Pemetrex disodium, 800 milligrams. Once, 11, 21, 16, that's a bunch of numbers. Carboplatin, carboplatin. Bunch of doctor stuff. Treatment guide. An origami hat. Hey, we got one of those. Open the cat. Yes. The cabinet is empty. Well, okay then. Oh, the door is locked, but there's also a phone ring. There's a sign on the door. Read it? Okay. Storage area 5B. Patient's not allowed beyond this point. You got it. Hello, phone. Hold on a second. I have a plant. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Good job, nurses. Hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm gonna be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So, we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We could play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. What a lovely mama. Yo, what up, nurse? Well, well. I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha. <laughs> okay, wise guy. I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. 
Your tests have come back and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast, there's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Thanks, lady. Oh no. It's gone! Doctor, they took it. They took Rakuen. What did they take? Rakuen! It's my favorite book in the whole world! It's also an RPG Maker game. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Um... It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And... There is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, huh? I guess that explains why they take the children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. <laughs> you know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Thanks, Doc. What a sweetheart. This is the toilet. I had to make sure. It looks like the toilet. Fill the sink with water? Yes. Just to be a guy like that. I like options. A mirror. You're darn tootin'. Alright, I left the light on. I'm sorry if that's a big deal to you. Hold on a second. I want to see how much I weigh. The hospital scale. Stand on it. I can't. If I see his measure height. Oh. Hello, lady at the counter. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Thanks, lady at the counter. Tony's room. Tony! <gasps> Tony. My man. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! It figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, Every idiot in the world has to come to my room. Now where's that nurse with my coffee? Man, you're grumpy, old man. A book about airplanes. Are you an airplane fan? Can I pinch your IV bag and kill ya? IV bag filled with Okay. Hey, dude. Or ma'am. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? Man, you're grumpy. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. You got it, Tony. Treatment guide. Patient 196 blood samples. Tony, I hope everything's okay over there, pal. Good luck with your treatment. Door's locked. I keep trying to exit the rooms with the bathroom, Tony. I'm sorry. All right. I'm about down here. The door's locked. Uh, sign. Keep out only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Oh, not for me. Hey, look at that person with the mohawk. Yo. Hey there. What's up? Hey, I don't think we formally met. 
I'm Korra. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. You're special. Whoa! Cool! And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Oh, you just blew his mind. Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know? If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd be all worth it. Oh. Hey there. Uh, did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Chef Panky came out here early and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Hey there. Oh, uh, tell me about the folks here. Who do you want to know about? Tony, he seems like a jerk. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Who do you want to know about? Tell me about Sue and Jackie. I don't know who these people are. Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah. I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Oh, that's sad. Jackie! Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird, but cool. If you ever need to know anything about technical... Oh, let's say that again. If you ever need to know anything technical, he's the guy to ask. That's thank you very much, Cora. You're very sweet. You have a great day. A pink cat? Yes. Yes, it is. Hello, sir. Wow. Wow. What a charming fellow. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? Ahem. <laughs> what can I help you with? I accidentally clicked too fast. Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two eggs laying mammals in the worlds? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and the echidna families have hopped onto that bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Uh... What can I help you with? Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange in, about this hospital? Um... Nope. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into the closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that the closet had been locked since before I started working here. Pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and first but a second, so unfortunately I can't say. Oh, thank you. Who would you like to know? Oh, dude, tell me about Panky the chef. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone's having a bad day, give them ice cream. I love Panky. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. I actually didn't know that. That is... that is genius, isn't it? Uh, Kisa Burrow. 
I knew Kisa Burrow back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for it. Buried treasure. Um... <laughs> Alright, Danielle. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out with the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for our patients here. Oh, that sounds nice. I like her. I don't even know her, but I like her. Hello, you. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Fine. I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Have fun. Wait. I thought this was a door for some reason. That's okay. Hello, staff. I'm sorry, shift leader. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. And my stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. A peanut choo-choo. Of course. Hospital admittance forms A through F. Hey, don't touch that. Can't you see I'm working here? You got it, ma'am. I'm sorry. Alright. Is this Sue's room? I'm sorry. Uh, Gemma and Sue's. Ooh. Hello? The toilet in there is broken and some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. I'm gonna look inside. Hey, what are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. I'm sorry. I don't really want to use it. I just want to inspect. But I understand. Hello. How are you doing today? Uh, yo, what's up, man? You look gloomy. My wife's been asleep for months now. No, I, I can ex that explains why. But I still talk with her every day. Sometimes I read to her. Oh. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. How are you doing today? I appreciate you asking me all the time. Uh, tell me about Sue? On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Oh, how about Grumpy Tony? I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Aw, how about Mohawk? I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the office. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Tau Cape Heroes. Oh, that's a good name, I think. Hello, sleepy lady. She'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna snoop, okay? The cabinet is empty. Aw, oh, man. Hey, on, let me look at this little thermostat. Thermometer, I'm sorry. That's definitely a different thing. Anoxic brain injury. Aw, oh, damn. That sucks. Good luck. Hey, can I have those gumballs? Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Can I have them? So you want to use our bathroom, huh? Well... I guess? Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know. Gosh. It looks like you really gotta go, though. Do I? Hmm... Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yup. That's my marble collection. 
I'm missing some though. I was carrying a bunch around in my pocket and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you can do that for me? I'll try my best. <laughs> Thank you. The last place I was playing <laughs> Just go to my bathroom. <laughs> the last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Okay. <laughs> I can just go to mine. I don't know why I want to get in the bathroom. Alright, let's see who Kisa Burrow is. Yo, you got some Joe Dog? Wait, can I use your bathroom? The door's locked. Okay, I can't use his bathroom. I understand. What's your problem, Joe? A stack of notes. So this is very invasive of your privacy. I'm sorry. Based on the results of Kisoburo's brain scan, we believe the, uh, me Oh, I'm sorry. We believe the Mestasis... Mesta... Metastasis? Me... The, the meta has changed to be the cause of his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Oh. He has some going going on down up there, man. Was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B when question replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. Uh, was found in the yard digging in the mud. Oh, this is the mud man. Completely unresponsive when questioned. Appeared to be unaware of location and time. Carrying bags out. Hmm. Can I sit in your chair? What's this? Hey. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Um, did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone's been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. Man, that stinks. I'm not one for gossip. Oh. Bye. Have a good day, Kisaburo. You seem like a chill guy. I'm sorry to hear that your mentality is kind of going downhill, though. It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Like a gun. No. No gun. What's in this? Can we see? Open shore. A soup ladle that is caked with mud is laying on top of old medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the ladle. Sure. You found 5G. <gasps> Did I just find 5 gold? Dude. RPG. Yes. Nice. Alright, what's this? Uh, someone's room. The door's locked. Oh, okay. Hey, who's that? Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Oh, good luck, dude. Sure. Doors rested shut. Well, you should probably get that replaced. Uh-huh. Pair of scrubs hanging inside. <gasps> Wait a second, I have 5G, and that lady wanted to choo-choo. A semi-functional vending machine. Choo-choo, 10G. Fuck. I need five more G. Nurse, give me G. Please. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? Not really. Open the shore. 5G? A lab coat with a pair of scrubs hanging inside. It looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Is it 5G? It's 5G. What a good day. Open the locker shore. Uh, found a pair of scrubs hanging inside. Nothing else. I'm just stealing things. Well, I guess that one is stealing. The, other, the first one was just like, no one's there anyway. Someone just left it. No. No, in the end, I'm stealing things. Finders keepers, though. Give me that shoe. 
You received peanut choo-choos. Nice. Hey, shift leader. I got you ju you choo-choos? I did. I said, I said the right word. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. What do you want? Here's the peanut choo-choo. Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow. Thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Bye. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks, lady. I'm gonna snoop. I'm gonna look over here. Patient survey. Oh, right, I can look at the, the one down there, too. And this thing? Which one is- Ooh, Snoopy. An assortment of books and pamphlets lying in the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Sure. 19th of March. Uh, JNR. Already strapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Oh, middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Uh, lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Read the card? Sure. Closet 5C passcode 1721. <gasps> I know where that is, I think. Actually, no, I don't really. But I have a code, so I'm going to figure this out. Excuse me, gentlemen and gentle lady. This way. Door is locked. Look at the doorknob. Yes, this is it. Okay, nice. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Sign 5C. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Oh. Frick. Okay, well, I have the code. Um, hey, turn it on. I heard you had a pretty tough day. Are you doing right? Doing, yep, I'm doing great. Hey, I did everything good. Be nice to your mom. She works really hard, you know. You're right. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria now. This is definitely where we eat food. Ceiling stuff again. Doors rust. Jesus, fix your doors and lockers. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Okay. Nice. <gasps> Yo, you got some cats and stuff. A pile of freshly made plushy toys. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Check it out. You found a snowy marble. <gasps> I can go to the bathroom now. Hey, kiddo. You need something? What's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even old cranky men like Tony and Panky. Eh? Huh? I heard that. Good. Hey, kiddo. You need something? Yes. Did he hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere, but you already know this. What do you think does behind those doors, though? Plot? What? Yeah, probably. Tell me about the folks here. Oh, I know all about the people here. Tell me about Winston. He's a good monkey. Have you noticed? Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on. Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Oh, I know. I'll, so, this boy, he's like six, eight, something like that. Come on. Come on. He doesn't need to know that right now. That's pretty mean. It's pretty sad. I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. Oh, I know all about Kitsumi. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Wow. You're just giving me all the dirt on people's families and their livelihoods? You are a gossiper so fiercely. Sorry, hon, but you know you're not supposed to be back here. I didn't, but thank you. Hello, Neko-chan. I told you, you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine. She's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. 
Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Panky is the worst. It's just a helpful Neko chain. I don't see the issue, Panky. Come on, man. Insert credit or debit card now. So, whoa. Yo, Panky, give me your card. Hey there. Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? What's up, dog? Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall full of peanut choo choos. The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like him, eh? Oh, you're right. Did you hear about the thief? Oh, yeah. Somebody came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See the metal door up there? It comes down after hours, and no one gets through that. So, I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed-off passageways. Half-built rooms, storage closets, you know. The aftermath of... Well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Huh, tell me about the folks here. Who you want to know? Uh, give me Danielle. Don't tell her I said this, but... Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time going in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really, don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. I heard that. Eh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What do you want to know about? Uh, give me kiss of burrow. If that kiss of burrow comes in here one more time, borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh, yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Oh. Shit, I'm sorry I brought you down. Let me tell you about Jackie. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science, he cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. Huh, that's good to know. Hi, man. I like you. Can I have this? On the top shelf, you see an assortment of onigiri. <gasps> Japanese stuff. Rice bowls and snacks. Japanese. Various drinks, yogurt, fruit cups line the shelves. Dog, I want some yogurt. Yogurt's great. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. Can I have this broom? No. Alright, I'm going to the bathroom. Hey, marble loser. Any luck? Here you go. You give the snowy marble to Sue. Aw, oh, you found my snow world. Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets, with tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time there. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live there, and they're always having parties. What kinds of parties? Snowman dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. Oh, they have pretty lanterns everywhere too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that could keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, and feel free to use our John anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. Thanks, Sue. You have a great day. I'm gonna use uh, the facilities now. I'm gonna inspect. Nice place. Turn this on. Fill the sink with water? Of course. Be a little vandal. 
It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps with the right tools, we can use it and get through. It looks like the toilet is stuck. Flush it. Looking pretty good. It looks like there's something shiny floating inside. That's pretty gross, but I mean, it could be cool. You received a key for Tony's bathroom. <gasps> Tony! Tony, 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 Tony. Tony, don't be upset th about the fact that this small little child is going to be exploring your facilities as well. It's not embarrassing. It's endearing that he cares so much to even bother. I'm using a key now. Sorry, Tony. Ooh, what is this? A box they put- <gasps> Yes! I can turn on the power thing now. Pull lever. Nice. Alright. Turning on your, your water, Tony. Leaving up the lid. Alright, bye. Have a good day, Tony. I gotta bring him coffee sometime. Okay, wait. Hold on. The problem I'm having with this situation right now is I don't remember what the code was. I think it was like 1917, but it's probably not it. 1721. 1721. 1721. I would... There is a man in the authorized personnel, I'm telling. Hello? Ma'am? Ma'am, there's a man in there. I heard that you had a pretty... Ma'am, come on. Ah, man. I'm just trying to be a good little scamp. Oh, well. Let's hope I don't die. Open the cabinet? Sure. Cabinet's locked. Oh, man. Uh, search the upper shelf. Assortment of books and pamphlets. Newspaper clipping is stuck between two of the pages. Sure. Uh, 14th of March. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving in at evacuation centers for radioactive exposures. Huh. That sucks. Uh, several years worth of medical journals. Huh. Lower? Folders filled with medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the folders. Sure. You found a key for a small cabinet. Okay. Is it for this one? Yeah. There is a laminated card lying at the bottom of the drawer. Sure. Exit 5C passcode 2954. I'll try my best to remember. I won't, though. Someone's weathered journal. Sure. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Damn, that's dark and sad. Patient number 122 blood samples. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I've already forgot it. 2954. I did it. Hey, man. Okay. He's gone again. That happens. That's a really powerful lamp. Goodness. Hold on, let me ex examine. Attention staff. A representative of Coid Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personal materials are removed before then. A jar with an unknown specimen floating inside. Aliens. A pair of glass beakers. Aliens. Okay, uh, how about this? I can't look at it. I want to, but I can't. Medical box. Can I push these? I can. Oddly enough. I'm going to assume this is locked. The door is locked. Okay, and this says, Warning a construction zone ahead. Please do not enter without explicit permission from your supervisor. I'm going to assume I'm going to need to push those boxes to get through and turn that on somehow. Door's locked. Yes. Absolutely am. So, I think I might have already screwed the pooch here, though. Maybe. I'm not fully sure yet. But we'll see. We'll see. Definitely feel like I have, though. Probably. I didn't. Pull the lever. Nice. Take the broom. Steal the bed. Or at least the pillow. Fair enough. Uh, no real sense of freedom, apparently, in video games. That's fine. A small room. 
Mm, um, pamphlets and stuff. You? Sure. Lab coat and a pair of scrubs inside, and there's something in the pocket. Sure. Uh, the metal door key. Neat. Things are really coming together. If I didn't get that, whew, where would I be? There you go. Oh my. This is a very dangerous looking room. I love it. Hmm. Can I push this? Can I take it? Can I use this? I have a card key? What? When did I get that? Oh, I don't... Because I don't have one. Right. That makes a lot of sense. Not having one. A stack of folders. Okay. Uh, a construction contract for the rebuilding of third floor wing 2B. Hey, I know 2B. Folder 2. You received the card key. That was easy. Something left a note here. Sure. Joji, remember to remove this card key when we're done this time, okay? We can't go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. Well, Joji's gonna get in trouble. As well as you. I found five more G. I'm freaking loaded, dude. Well, I mean, that's just only five G, but... I mean, realistically speaking, I've had 15 G all together today, which was awesome. Put it in. Put this one in. Oh. I gotta take it out again. Oh. Frick. Okay. Interesting. It looks like I'm gonna need multiple card keys. You? What's inside? Another card key per chance? Bills and tax forms. Oh, run away from that child. You don't gotta worry about that for another 10 years at least. A lanyard with a car key hangs from the inside of the locker. Sure. I needed that. See, I like that the puzzles aren't, like, too complex. They're pretty straightforward, honestly speaking. But they're still not... I don't know. What are we trying to say? It makes me feel good to know I'm not getting lost in a puzzle. How about that? Open the locker. A lanyard with a car key hangs on the inside. Take it. All right, now I got another card key. I have three card keys. Question. <gasps> I know what I gotta do. Put it in this one. Put it in this one. And then I gotta go over here, and I gotta put it in this one. And the middle is gonna open up, right? Yep. Can I actually get through this area, though? Very good, very good tape. Take the shovel. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. My book! Well, it's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Heh. <laughs> I guess you kind of caught me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait... Do you live here? For now? Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. <laughs> oh... I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, are you hungry? I've got a bit of fish head left from the last week, if you'd like. Um, that's okay, but thank you. Look, kid, I'm really sorry that I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse of judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. I have received the raccoon. And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. 
I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Um. Okay, well, bye. What in the world are you doing in here? Uh, uh, um, well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. Okay. It's shiny. Why is it shiny? Mom! No one. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Raku into me, Mom? Of course I will. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Raku. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwood. Good night. Good night, Mom.